Welcome to Inside Builder's channel, large language model automators, Python experts, and my dear friends. LLMs are not chatbots. The eight differences. What is a chatbot? A program that automates dialogue with humans. That is a chatbot. You might be thinking, are chatbots similar to agents in LLM? We will be discussing that in in short moment. What is a bot? Program that automates a manual process. That is a bot. Now let's dive into the, the differences. A language model, if you have worked with ChatGPT or large language model Llama 2, it's an open source language model, you would have observed that you will give a prompt, which is a series of words, and then the model starts generating another series of words they are called as tokens in the terms of large language models and uh, these words that it gets generated are what you use so here you can clearly see that there is no any automation so you start by giving a particular prompt and uh, it gives a single output there are certain uh, situations where you can use frameworks like Langchain, you can use uh, open source uh, programs like AutoGPT, and you can internally emulate a kind of an agentic nature of the large language model. What I mean by this is, you can create an internal loop inside the large language model, which goes through a series of steps and uh, generates more words again and again. This is what happens in most of the, uh, you know, AGI kind of uh, programs. AutoGPT is one of an example. There were many other uh, programs that came into picture. There were there was CamelGPT and also uh, inside the Langchain framework, there is so many other examples available. But none of these tries to really automate the dialogue or automate a particular process. It comes close to automation but it's not perfect automation as i again reiterate large language model just generates text that's it second point the flow of conversation is directed by the user if you take any large language model whether it is chat gpt or uh, any open source model the user provides a prompt and the model returns with a series of text after that there is no further control from the large language model. It waits for the user to provide the next prompt. The large language model by itself cannot ask any questions. I repeat, it cannot ask any questions until unless the large language model can ask questions or provide a necessary redirection, the flow of the dialogue cannot be controlled, which is one of the major differences between a large language model and a chat GPT. So I'll be showing you, uh, sorry, large language model and a chat bot. I'll be showing you the differences in, in the next slides. The large language model can be trained to, to do a particular task by using the instruction training. It can be trained to a one task. It, it cannot be trained to, to do multiple tasks. People have tried it. There are a couple of models that try to emulate this kind of a multiple step output. However, it takes huge amount of time. Fourth, large language model requires huge data set for training and it takes large amount of time. On the contrary, chatbot does not require that much amount of a data set or that much amount of time you will not have that much amount of time available with you. You will have the data set that is pertaining to your particular business logic or your particular use case and you will offer it to the chat GPT uh, chatbot to learn. However, when it comes to uh, uh, the real benefit of chatbot is that it can control the flow of the dialogue. Fifth, the hardware specification. The large language model usually requires the GPU to run effectively. If you don't have a GPU, you can still run the large language models. However, it will be slow. 
chatbot on the contrary can run on a regular hardware you will require a considerable amount of ram and you will need uh, the necessary frameworks however the requirement of gpu is not mandatory sixth point the pa model parameters that is used in large language models ranges in billions even for the simplest model on the contrary for the chatbots the chatbots do use models i will be explaining to you in the next series of videos how these models are being used those models range in uh, the parameters range in uh, thousands to hundred thousands and little closer to millions but not in billions it's not required because your particular chatbot is going to work for a particular uh, series of tasks and uh, automation of series of dialogue it's not going to be uh, all encompassing chatbot seventh point in large language model as i already iterated there is no automation of a particular task so it cannot be termed as a chatbot to begin with whenever you are uh, you are you are implementing a chatbot you will have to decide what are the tasks the chatbot is going to do whose task it is going to automate and what is the outcome of that particular task and that particular chatbot in case of large language model we are trying to create an uh, create a supporting role for uh, for a particular task if you are a developer there is a large language model that can help you to develop example code for your particular task if you are a writer the large language model helps you to develop the prompts the basic uh, outline of a particular story or a blog it stops there after that on the contrary a chat chatbot moves further it actually takes the data from you and goes and does some activity in the back end pulls some data from the database if it is required and then provides you a final output so like for an example to uh, change your uh, account details or to modify your credit card number in your uh, account all these things are kind of tasks that needs to be performed by a particular person or a human being that is getting automated there this key difference the seventh point there is no automation of a task this is one of the one of the important uh, points that led me to creating this series of videos because we uh, when we look at uh, the large language model we see that it is automatically generating the text and uh, we believe that it can also start creating or automating the tasks that we have in fact that's completely different in order to automate a particular task you need to know what are the series of steps and the large language model needs to know what input it will require and it has to ask for the input which is where the large language model falls short chat bots on the contrary can be programmed to ask for the inputs that's what we'll be seeing next finally this is a kicker large language models can be used in the chat bots for making them intentless but not the opposite so you cannot use chat bots inside the large language models so you see this uh, difference like you can use the models inside the chat bots i'll be showing you how that works in a couple of minutes now let us uh, first of all try to understand what happens inside a chat bot what you are seeing here this is a picture of a dialogue that is happening it's a very basic dialogue that has been uh, already coded into a chat bot inside the rasa framework and uh, as you can see every every box that is highlighted with the green color is the human input and uh, it's not just the human input it also uh, is a classification of the type of the input so if the human is saying hi the bot replies with an action called as utter greet and if the human replies that he is unhappy meaning this particular unhappy can be expressed in many different ways so the model in the back end will train to uh, to classify the sentences given by the human whether it is happy sentence or a sad sentence and then accordingly it will update the dialogue manager here if it finds the human is uh, saying that he is unhappy then the bot will say utter cheer up 
and then the bot will ask did whatever i uh, did that help and if the human says yes then the bot says utter happy and it goes on there is also one more dialog path where uh, the human is asking for some other information from the bot and the bot asks for a couple of information so you can see that the bot is asking for the call name it is asking for the city it is asking for the phone and then it is finally saying that okay uh, i am going to leave you right now all this series of steps as you can see here the human intent or the human statement and the bot action or the response all these are chained together into a series of stories or dialogues so this entire uh, uh, graph that you see here it, this is maintained inside the dialog manager and that's how dialog manager helps you to help the chatbot to get the information necessary from the user and provide the necessary responses this is what happens inside the chatbot we can see that i have uh, provided the same thing that i explained to you in this particular uh, uh, words here simply said in case of a chatbot the intent can be used to automate the response and using this intent and response we can automate a task inside the chatbot that is how the chatbot works the problem that is getting solved inside the chatbot is more of a classification and the prediction problem when a user provides a statement the classification of that statement has to be done first whether it is a happy or a sad statement whether it is asking for information whether it is asking giving information all this classification has to be first done and then based on that classification the next response has to be predicted so you see that there is a statement here by the human and uh, the model that is uh, in the back end of the chatbot framework has to classify what is this sentence about that is called as an intent so it has to first classify that and then it has to start asking the next question so it has to ask for the call name and then it has to extract the name from the user input this series of flow happens and the task gets completed in order to predict that after a uh, after the user ask what is that you do that we have to use utter ask call name this is a prediction process and for this the uh, the dialog manager and the models in the dialog manager work together that is the how that is how the chatbot works and the key uh, point here is that it works with intents and actions recently there has been a flurry of action in removing the intent from this chatbots instead of using intents and classifying based on intents large language models are directly used inside the chatbot itself to make the process of uh, predicting the next response much more fluid we will be diving into these concepts in this series of videos let me continue further to the next slide where i explain to you what happens inside a large language model there is just prompt user provides a series of words which is called a prompt and it informs how many words to be predicted this is how you interact with uh, the chat gpt for that matter you tell to chat gpt that what you want and also tell that how many in what way how many words and uh, in what format you want after the model predicts the words and uh, then user continues with the next prompt if he likes the words he takes it or he continues with the next prompt so this continues further uh, as long as the user as well as the model uh, is available it is a series of prediction problem so there is there is no uh, classification here the the particular statement is given by the user the model reads the statement and starts predicting what will be the next words and once that is completed the it waits for the next prompt from the user it doesn't it does not classify okay we need to it does not classify or predict what will be the next question from the user because there is no information of such level to the large language model that is because there is no any predefined predetermined dialog flow 
or there is no dialogue manager involved there is just a large language model that provides the series of text llm also cannot be made to ask predefined questions or to extract data if you see here the chat gp chat bot is asking for the call name it is asking for the city it is asking for the phone you cannot actually make the large language models to ask for certain questions or certain details from the user this is one of the challenges that uh, we face you can actually use the uh, frameworks like la large language model frameworks like langchain to emulate some parts of the chatbot inside the large language models using their agentic nature however it's not perfect you will see that after a considerable amount of effort and uh, work the agents are still not perfect because they are very probabilistic in nature as i explained in the third uh, point the agentic nature of the llm can be leveraged to create minimal automation but the control of the flow is very fluid and unpredictable i believe that you understood uh, uh, the key aspects of the chatbot as well as the large language model and how they differ and how they differ vastly so i believe that you like this video do leave a like share it with others and subscribe to my channel for further discussion on chatbots as well as the open source framework called as rasa i'll be diving deep into how uh, how to create your own chatbots in uh, using rasa framework in next series of videos stay tuned for that till that explore 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 see you guys have a great time